In this Cepasolar service tip video, we're going to give you some short instructions on how to use your Zebra Cloud app. You should have already downloaded Zebra Cloud and registered your system. Open your Zebra Cloud app. On this page, you'll find your plant listed. If you have more than one plant, they'll all be listed here. In this view, you can get a very quick overview of the energy performance of your system and also whether it's operating or whether it's in a fault by looking at the indicator on the icon to the left. Let's click into our plant. When we click into our plant, we land on the overview page. In this page, we can see what the instantaneous output power of the inverter is. We can also see the total income generation from the plant. We can also look in more detail at the energy generation profile by day, throughout the month, throughout the year, and since the inverter was first installed, the next tab to investigate is the chart function. Here we can look at more detailed parameters such as the voltage of the photovoltaic array, the current of the photovoltaic array and the output power from the inverter. This can be useful information if you need to troubleshoot. The next tab is the devices page. In this page you'll see all the inverters associated with your Zeva Cloud plant. When you look at an inverter you can get some very basic information about its output power, energy generation and also whether the inverter is operating normally or is in an error state. In this case, we have a green symbol and no error. The inverter is operating normally. If we wanted to add additional inverters to our Zeva Cloud plant, we could do so by using the icon in the top right hand corner. The other tab that has useful information is the attributes. In this, we can determine what the CO2 avoidance factor is for our plant, what the feed-in tariff is for energy generated, the time zone for our plant, and we can also review different reports which can be sent by the inverter, such as a daily report, a monthly report, and also plant event reports. Each of these can be turned on or off as required. Some useful information in relation to plant event reports is the alarms on which a report will be sent. There are three options. Zeva Cloud can send a report for all alarms, only for an earth fault or for all alarms except an earth fault. These reports can also be sent at whatever frequency is required, whether every hour or every day. The email address that the report should be sent to can be entered below. When you've made any changes, make sure to press confirm. We hope this has given you some tips on how to get the most out of the Zeva Cloud app. For more Zeva Solar Service tips, please click the link below. Thank you.